In this video, I'd like to continue the discussion about fractional exponents. And in the previous video, we looked at what happens when you take some number and you raise it to the 1 over n power. And what we learned is that this denominator of the fractional exponent tells us what root we're taking of that number. Now, in this video, we want to expand it and look at what happens when instead of having a 1 up here, you have some other number. So the general idea, let's say we look at it generally again, where we have at x to the m over n, we could rewrite this using exponent properties as x to the 1 over n to the m, m power here. Since remember, we could just recombine these, an exponent to an exponent is just multiplication. You could put that over 1, you multiply fractions, and you end up with m over n as your exponent. And we know that this right here is just the nth root of x. So this is the nth root of x, and we're raising everything to the m power. So it looks like our numerator here is just whatever power we're going to raise our number to after we've taken the nth root. But you could also look at this essentially the opposite way, where we could have this as x to the m power all raised to the 1 over n power. Because again, we have an exponent to an exponent. We could multiply, and you can see that this here and this here are equivalent. So we have x to the m, and we're taking an nth root of it, since the denominator of a fractional exponent we know is the root that we're taking. So we're taking the nth root of x to the m. So you can write this either way, and this is very general right now, so let me look at a specific example where let's say we have 6 to the 4 thirds. Well, the numerator is the power that we're raising the number to, and the denominator is the root we're taking of that number. So you could write it like that, or you could write it the other way, this formula here. You could take the cubed root of the number first, and then raise all of that to the fourth power. So either of these work. Sometimes it's better to take the root first and then raise it to whatever the exponent is. And sometimes it's better to raise it to that power using the numerator first and then take your root of the number. So honestly, that just depends on the situation. Though frankly speaking, a lot of times it's much easier to take the root of the number. Like, let's say we have the example... 8 to the 2 thirds power. Now you could square it first and get 64 and then take a cubed root of 64, but taking roots of smaller numbers is usually easier. So we can take a cubed root of 8 and then square that. And you would see that the cubed root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is just 4. So you could do it both ways, but one way is usually a little bit simpler than the other way. So let's look at our example problem now. We're trying to figure out which radical expression is equal or equivalent to c to the 3 fifths power. And so if we rewrite that, we have c to the 3 fifths power. The numerator is the power that we're raising it to. And the denominator of our fractional exponent, that is the root that we're taking of the number. So we're taking a fifth root and then raising it to the third power, or vice versa. We're raising it to the third power and then taking a fifth root of that. So the two different ways we could write it, we could write it by taking the fifth root first and then raising everything to the third power, or we could raise the number to the third power and then take a fifth root of that. So either of these are true, they're both equivalent, so we just need to look at our multiple choice. We can see A and B are not going to be correct. And C and D look very similar, but in C you can take you can see you're taking a cubed root rather than a fifth root. So C is actually the opposite. This is C to the 5 thirds power. But D you can see you're taking a fifth root first and then cubing it, which is this top form up here. So choice D is the correct answer here. And let's look at some different examples. Now this one, they have it written in reverse, but 
let's again look at the general form. If you have x to the m over n, then m is your power that you're raising it to, and n is the root you're taking of the number. So you could rewrite this as the nth root of x to the m, or you could see it the other way where you have the nth root of x and you raise everything to the m power. Either of these work here. So for this one, let's rewrite it. We have the seventh root of c. Let me rewrite that seven first. So we have the seventh root of c and we're raising everything to the fifth power. So when we write this as a fractional exponent, we know that the denominator is the root we're taking, so seven in this case, and the numerator is the power that we're raising everything to at the end. So in this case, it's a five. So this is equivalent to c to the five sevenths power. And you can see that that is choice letter C here. And you can go through and look at each of the other answers and essentially eliminate them, prove to yourself that they would not be correct. For this one, for instance, you have five C's up top, seven down below, and so you end up with just two left over down below, which is C to the minus two if you wrote it where C was up top. This one's the opposite of what we have. This is the fifth root of c to the seventh, or you could put the seven on the outside of the parentheses. And this one, you have seven c's up top and five down below, so all but two from the top will cancel out. This is just c squared. So you can see that choice letter c has to be right because the other ones are incorrect. So let's do another one. And we have t to the 5 eighths power, let me rewrite that here. And we know that the denominator is the root that we're taking of t, and we're gonna raise it to this fifth power. Though you could also rewrite it as the eighth root of t all raised to the fifth power. So either of those would work. And now looking at our answers here, we have the eighth root of t and then everything raised to the fifth power, but that's just this expression here. So it looks like A is the correct choice. And you can see B is wrong because they switch it. For this one, the numerator is eight and the denominator is five since you're taking a fifth root and that would be in the denominator. This one is a bit more complicated. You could rewrite it as T to the one fifth divided by T to the one eighth. And you could simplify this further since when you have the same base and you're using division, you would subtract the exponents, one-fifth minus one-eighth, whatever that evaluates to. And this one, you have the five-eighths root of t, which you could rewrite as t to the one over the five-eighths power, which simplifies since you're dividing by fractions the same as multiplying by that fraction's reciprocal, so this just becomes eight-fifths, which is actually like choice B, which we already know is incorrect because our fraction is flipped over. So we checked and choice letter A makes the most sense and we were able to eliminate the other three options. And let's just do one more of these. So in this one, we're given the ninth root of B to the fourth. We know that when we rewrite B, the fractional exponent would have nine in the denominator since that is our root that we're taking. And the power that we're raising b to is four. So that would be our numerator. So we're looking for b to the four ninths, which is choice letter D. And again, you can go through and eliminate a since that fraction's flipped. And these would simplify. This would be b to the minus five, and this would be b to the fifth. So you can see that those aren't true. We can eliminate those. And choice D is the correct answer here.